How's it going guys? Uh, as you see in my uh, previous uh, little video there, I end up hitting up an estate sale after work. Uh, I get off at 4 and that sale started at 4. There was probably 150 cars there when I pulled up. So, you know, I met and I got there probably 30 minutes or so after it started. And even then, I was still able to score this stuff, which is incredible. Uh, so, this first item was the first thing I found. And it was uh, $8. And, let's see. I tried to show in the video where the the hallmark was. And it's kind kind of hard to see. Probably not going to show up on the video here, but trust me, this is uh, this is sterling silver, and it weighs uh, almost three ounces. So, and that was eight dollars. <throat> and then in the basement, I actually found all this stuff. This was on a. Uh, you saw in the uh, photo, the video where it said uh, brass item six dollars. So all this stuff was marked brass. And this was in there, a sterling dish that weighs uh, 120 grams, so almost three ounces of sterling silver. And these were down there. These are actually marked coin, which, you know, if you don't know anything about silver, uh, coin silver is at least 80% silver. And, uh, again, this is a professionally run estate sale. And even, like I said, even they can miss stuff like this. So all these coins, uh, spoons here are coin silver. And these weigh over 100 grams. Another little ladle. Uh, it's not marked, but I'm guessing it's sterling. It's from the 1800s, I'm guessing. A sterling money clip for $3. And then this just is an incredible piece. Uh, she charged me $10 for that stuff. And this is a coin silver ladle. Not sure if the, it's not going to show it, but it says coin. I'm used to tell you how massive this is. It's as big as my forearm, and this weighs 163 grams. So. Uh, just, like I said, an incredible piece. The maker is a William Hendricks and & Son. And there was actually some of this stuff appraised on Antiques Roadshow. I did a, uh, a Google search of this maker. And uh, a William Hendricks & Son cup was appraised on Antiques Roadshow in 2007. This is not marked, but it was in the same bag that this was in. And it's just marked up here. WB trademark. I don't know if this is a sterling or not. There's no other markings. Again, I don't have a, uh, a tester to test 
uh, sterling and under. And then for you uh, silver experts, uh, coin picker, maybe you can help me out with this. Uh, this was with the brass, and this was marked eight dollars. There's no hallmarks except for this. Is that a lion? I know uh, antique uh, hallmarks with a lion are uh, silver. I did scratch it, and this is what it looked like underneath. So I don't know if this is a and it you know coin silver, uh, sterling silver. I have no clue. It's kind of bent. How a piece of sterling would be, but at the the center is solid and very heavy, and this weighs 844 grams. So uh, any help would be appreciated. Uh, if I don't get any uh, response on uh, YouTube with any assistance, I'll probably end up taking this into a uh, antique store that uh, they buy gold and silver, and they also sell coins. Uh, so I've dealt with them in the past, so I trust them on their expertise. So yeah, these are my uh, finds for today. I get a lot of people that make comments on previous videos saying, oh, I make this stuff up and there's no way I find this stuff. And, you know, as you saw in that video, I was at that estate sale and I had all this stuff in my hands to show that you can find this. And again, I was I found this 45 minutes probably after it started. So you just have to uh, be on the lookout, know what you're looking for, and you can find treasure. Until next time.